Oh, there you are, YouTube, and happy Father's Day. I guess happy Father's Day to me as well. Today was an extremely eventful day, so much so that I'm actually gonna break up the, the activities. So uh, today's video is just gonna be um, basically the, the, the Father's Day gift haul that I got from my kids. I'm gonna show footage of me opening it, and then just to, I'm gonna show uh, everything they got me in here as well, just so you can get a better uh, view of it. Uh, but also today, um, my wife and I, we went to Indianapolis to see Sarah McLachlan in concert, which was awesome, reliving those 90s. It's the um, 30 year anniversary of her album, Fumbling Through Ecstasy. So uh, she, was, she was basically uh, playing that entire album, uh, but then also like starting off with the hits um, and then closing out with the hits, um, you know, like like Angel, you know, from uh, City of Angels and in, in the the dog commercials. But anyway, let's get to me opening those gifts. Here we go. I love dinosaurs. Okay, should I start with this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I thought we supposed to start with the card. Let's see what's in the card. You're going to love your, your card. Yeah! I am. Oh, look at that. Minnie. Oh, that's so cute. Daddy, you are feeling extra special and, or sorry, are you feeling extra special and really, really loved? Good. Because that's how you make us feel every day of the year. Happy Father's Day. So sweet. And then you signed it. It's got Minnie and Daisy in there. Yeah. That is so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Should we open the gifts? Is this an order? No. No? Okay. I just really want him to do this one. Oh, bud. This one here? Ooh, what do we got here? I've been waiting. It's, it's something in the mail. Do you know what it is? Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. You can use it for breakfast. Wow. That is funny. Do you love it? Yes. <laughs> it's a name tag for the character I play when we play restaurant. Oh my goodness. That is so funny. That is hilarious. Why did you come up with this? General manager. It was their idea. Oh, no, no, dad. Oh, no, man. No, we're not cute. They came up with that on their own? Yeah. No, we're not mittens. We're not cute. I love it. Thank you so much. We're not cute. Should I do this next? No, just. It's fine. Phone. It's just moving on the phone. Let's just do that. You know, phone? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this little beast. This is good. I don't have this in my collection. Yeah, do you love it? Yeah, gray little beast from Superhero Squad. I just know which one's that one? You know, your oldest cousin would watch this when he was very little. He was your age. Which one's the other one? Awesome, thank just you. Just hold up, honey. I always like to start from here. How about you try? Should I do this one? It's fine. There's no real order. Okay. Yeah, I'll get this part started. Like, no, 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 I think order is really good. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think I know what this is. Yes. Shout Factory. A movie I would watch as a kid, John Goodman. It's called Matinee. It's about old B movie movies. 
Adam Films. And it came with a poster. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? There's another thing in there. There's more? Okay, be gentle over here. I love oh, the yes. wrapping paper. Another movie I was watching as a kid that I probably shouldn't have been. The Getaway. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I should have been watching it. It's just for grown ups. But I was watching it as a kid. What next? This one. Ooh, How old were you? I don't know. Maybe. Seven or something, I'm not sure. We can off, remember. We can take off the bottom. Yeah, we can wait. Hey, you do that. Um Let's oh, find yeah. out. This last one is this. No, I, I hope Ooh, I there's know. two things in there. Ooh. Oh, I think I know. <laughs> yeah. So it's another Beast character, but that's not Beast, that's Avalanche. But they come together in a, in a box, so that's why they sold them together. But this is Beast, but this is him as a, when he's called Astonishing Beast. Well, he's not called, you know, the type of comic. He's heavy. Yeah. He you can have him. I wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> look. Thank you. Oh, oh. and look. We're in Beast right now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. How about that your Beast stack? The Beast stack? Yep. But make sure every pile goes in here. And then when oh, everything... Watch out. What's in here? Oh, yes. This is the flocked one. <laughs> so basically it's him, but he's blue and he's fuzzy. Which one's fuzzy? This one. Maybe yeah. Fuzzy. Yeah, feel him. He's fuzzy. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Fuzzy beast. Yeah. <laughs> That's called flocked. Flocked beast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuzzy beast. How about Dad? You will you will get the top already, and then we will get the bottom. What? I think they're wanting to help you open. Them. What is this? Oh yes! <laughs> to add to my. Uh, British Monarchy Collection. What? This is brown. So this is Queen Victoria and one of her buddies. Two what? very enthusiastic thumbs up. Four what? stars. Wasn't that the, the villain on the restaurant one? So awesome. silly. Thank you. Open these sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I still got the plan of yours. <coughs> Alright, let's get the these pops. Okay. We have here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yes. The Madness of King George. And then let's put everything I love the cover in. of this. Thank you. And Niren's in it. Very cool. Thank you. What an awesome group of gifts. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. The only thing that we had here... So, uh, I'm going to show you all of that again in close-up. Uh, the Sarah McLaughlin stuff, I don't know if I mentioned this, but that's going to be like tomorrow's video. I'm breaking this up into two days because I, I just, it's so late. It's past midnight and there's no way I can, I can get all of that, you know, edited. So, here we go. Let's start off with the figures. Um, here we have Avalanche. An X-Men uh, villain who, this is something that I'm, you know, I'll, I'll probably donate, give away, or something like that. Because I, I'm not trying to get this. But in order for um, my wife to get one of these toys, that one had to sort of come with it. Um, they were sold as a pair. But anyway, let me show you these beast figures that I got here. 
uh, starting with Grey Beast, because Beast is my favorite Marvel character, my favorite X-Men character, and I have pretty much every single action figure of him, but here these are like little kid toys based off of the Superhero Squad, and I was like, you know what, I guess these are technically action figures too. I might as well pick these up too, so I requested these for Father's Day, and the kids delivered. So I got that one, and then I also got this flocked version right here. So he's fuzzy, it's beast, but he's very fuzzy. So you can see the fur, all of this is like very fuzzy right there, which is pretty cool. There's also a version of him where he is not flocked that I don't have, so that I think technically would be the last action figure that I don't have in my Beast collection. Otherwise, I own every other Beast figure in existence, except for, I guess there is one Hardy's like, kids meal toy that I need to get. Check that out. And then also Astonishing Beast. I believe this is Astonishing right here. This is cool. He's looking really acrobatic in this, which I like. He's got a nice smile here. Um, yeah, this is really cool. So he just kind of stands on one hand and one foot and the other foot's up in the air. So I think that's really fun. All right, now let's get to the movies. So um, may have heard me mention this earlier. Uh, Mrs. Brown, this is... So I collect movies about the British royals, the British monarchy, kings and queens and such. And this is a story about Queen Victoria who had this friend named... I can't remember, something brown, and they were very close. So this movie kind of has two titles. It's Mrs. Brown, but also if you look really closely, Her Majesty Mrs. Brown. Look how small that is, isn't that wild? Um, yeah, Billy Colony, Co Connolly plays him. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of about their relationship. Um, I think she was nominated for this, I think. I'm pretty sure she was nominated for this. Uh, but anyway, I'm excited to have this to the collection, add this to the collection of uh, British monarchy films because I have not seen this one. And to add to that collection, so this was just DVD, Miramax DVD, sealed though, never been opened. Uh, but to add to the collection, that to continue that collection about the monarchs, is The Madness of King George. This is another one I haven't seen, but this one I believe was had some Oscar nominations as well. Maybe it was... Uh, costuming or something maybe even won it I can't remember but I really love this cover right here with like the frame it's like a royal po portrait right um, I think I think all of that is great this is Helen Mirren right here um, yeah King George he's the king that lost the Americas so um, like us like uh, you know me me uh, an American um, we broke away from the British Empire so this was the guy who we fought during the revolution. Um, so yeah, uh, it's about his uh, struggles with, I, actually I'm not sure, it's a mental health issue, but I'm not sure what kind actually uh, that he, um, what, what exactly he was dealing with. Uh, but maybe this will provide insight. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how it's handled, if it's handled in a, accurate way or lots of liberties taken or invention you know uh i'm not not too certain but i'm excited to ev eventually uh see it I'm glad to have it in the collection oh look and it's olive films i didn't know that they're they're no longer to uh a company but that's cool i don't have many olive films in my collection so happy to have another one all right next we have a shout factory and that is The Getaway. Very excited to have this in the collection. This was one that I, um, how did I first watch it? I think I first probably watched it on Cinemax, but I would rent it also because Kim Basinger is in it. So there was just like this backlit scene uh, involving her that I just loved so much. Um, I just, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, and I haven't seen this movie since the 90s. You know, it came out in 94, and I probably haven't seen it since the mid-90s, but I have images from it just seared in my head, and I'm really excited to have this. I'm 
curious if it holds up. You know, I liked it back then, but do I still like it today? I don't know. Uh, I'm excited to find out. This is uncensored, unrated version of The Getaway in High Definition. Yeah, got a great cast too. Michael Madsen, James Woods. Uh, I think I see Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, Richard Farnsworth. Very cool. Um, so here, this is the last film that I got for Father's Day from my family. And that is Matinee. 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 This is uh, another movie that I would watch on Cinemax growing up. And this is a Shout Select. It has this beautiful um, uh, slip case, slip cover right here. And I've always loved the cover art. I don't know who the artist was. I was looking into it and it, I think we saw, was it like a, uh, gosh, the name Tom Martin? But I'm not sure if he just did like the layout of like the text and stuff like that, or if he did like the painting or not. Maybe he hired somebody to do the painting and then, I'm not, I'm not sure. I need to look more into that because if you look at his other posters, you don't see stuff that looks like this. So I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I need to dive into that more. Uh, but yeah, John Goodman uh, stars in this. Love John Goodman. For a time, he was uh, my favorite actor. I've had a few favorite actors in my lifetime. Um, they've been Robin Williams, they've been Jim Carrey, they've been John Goodman, and they've been Tom Hanks. And I think that's the only favorite actors I've ever had in my life. Um, so, yeah, I, I always liked this as a kid. Um... So I, this is another one I'd like to um, get to know as an adult. What year did this come out? Uh, 93. Oh, and the cool thing is this is presented in color or black and white, which is awesome. This is a 4K. It's a Blu-ray. Um, the special edition, um, or sorry, the special features, I think, is missing a few things that people were hoping for. Um, like stuff that is on the laser disc is not included on here. So it would have been cool to just kind of have everything, but you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have to, if they make another one with more stuff, I'll be dipping in again. Who knows? But, uh, this was a pre-order. This was a pre-order that I got here. So it also came with, um, the poster. So I got the poster right here. Um, should I pull that out now? Should I pull this out? I don't know. I, I may, I may not pull it out because it is the same thing as this, but in poster form. So I think I'm going to keep it in here. Also, it's getting late. I gotta, I gotta edit this and then go to bed. <laughs> um, cause I put out a video representing a day every single day since I started this channel but anyway uh, thank you so much for watching this happy Father's Day to all the dads out there um, did your kids give you any uh, action figures did your kids give you any movies or posters oh I also got a fun name tag when we uh, play we like like dinner time I'll act like I'm a waiter and the kids act like, um, you know, they're, they're dining at my restaurant and we have these different names, uh, that, uh, like for these characters that we play and they got me a name tag with a character that I play on it. And that was just adorable. That was their idea. My wife said that was their idea. Everything else was stuff like my wife was like, what do you, what do you want for Father's Day? I was like, ah, these things are interesting to me. So she got me a handful of those. Um, but yeah, that name tag, that that was my kid's idea, and I love it so much. So, yeah, this is just the uh, kind of the haul video, and then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is the extension, the, the continued Father's Day, uh, what, what I just got back from just moments ago, seeing Sarah McLaughlin in concert. I think that's going to be tomorrow's video. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Hope you had a good Father's Day. Um, and perhaps, le actually, let me know about these movies. Let me know what you think of these films here. What are your memories of seeing them? Have you seen Mrs. Brown? Have you seen The Madness of King George? Actually, I want to know if you've seen them all. Because these two I have seen, so I'm aware. But I want to know your thoughts on it. But these two, I'm curious what you think. Anyway, 
uh, one more time. I've tried to end this like 366 times. Here we go. Um, thank you so much for watching, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.